everybody how are you doing um, I have a surprise I moved to Paris and you might maybe know it because that will probably be the title of this wonderful video and yeah I just wanted to tell you the story about it because I thought maybe some of you are interested in it and it's it's funny because I also could it's not that it's impossible every one of us can eventually move to Paris but it's it's fucking crazy a little bit and I'm still like a bit um, on, I feel like I'm on drugs, something like that, but of course not on real ones. So kids don't, don't do it. No, so I just want to tell you the story. So this is a bit more personal than my usual videos, because as you know, I do not like to share too much uh, personal information. Also, that's not the topic of my channel. I don't want to talk about me. I want to talk about Nicolas Gasquier, Jonathan Anderson, I want to talk about Braraf. I don't I don't want to talk about myself. But I thought this could be interesting and maybe also helpful for other people who are um, trying to achieve this, who are trying to move uh, to this country and maybe I can help you also with this. So first of all, um, yeah, I just decided it. Uh, I woke up one morning and then I was like, I want to move to Paris. Of course it's not like that it's 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 a lot of work it might be easier for some others but for me it wasn't um, as you know I have a normal full-time job I work at a company uh, which I love and they have their headquarters in Paris Paris they have their headquarters in Paris 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 I need to stop pronouncing the H so I sound more French also I need to watch out on that so anyway, um, we have this thing in the company that after a period of time, if you have the profile kind of thing, you know, uh, to come to that quarter, you can apply and maybe you have the chance to come and that's what I did and it took months, blah, 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 blah. And then eventually I got to go. Yeah, I was super happy and I, I knew it like three months earlier. So I think in, uh, May, in May or something, I got my go. Uh, and since then I felt like, and this is why I also didn't post that frequently on YouTube because I really needed to manage my life. Moving the country is really not that easy. I have never done that before. Or I went for internships and stuff, but I did never um, like move into a different country. And I know Germany is super close. It's like a four hour drive. So I know for the US it's like just the neighbor city, but in Europe four hours are like still a long distance. That's why we have kilometers and not miles. I'm sorry. No, but it's a it's actually with the train a four hour drive. So it's a joke because I live completely in the west of Germany and Paris is very much um, northern east uh, of France. So I'm super close. It's even faster than with the with the with the air. Yeah and then I packed my stuff and came. I came with one suitcase and one hand luggage. And that's it and now I'm in the apartment that the company is giving me temporarily and I couldn't be happy I'm in one of the most beautiful districts of Paris right now I have my most favorite clothes with me uh, I like my job and um, the other thing which is of course great because I mean as you know of course I work uh, I, I work full-time but I have a lot of side projects I mean even YouTube for me is a side project and other than that I also do things like uh, personal styling, personal consulting mainly um, because that's actually, I don't know if I ever have said that in my videos but that was my main main passion I think when I was like 20 years old um, I also had a friend, she was a photographer and I did the styling and we like I styled the friends and we made photos and I think just a few weeks ago I had a look at the at the photos and I was shocked because they weren't bad and then I was like wow if I should have kept when I would have kept like doing styling for the last years, I mean, maybe you're somewhere else, but you never know. So, but I'm very happy at where I am right now. So that's cool. Yeah. And the other good thing about Paris is of course, now I have the chance to come here, get connected with people from the fashion industry, because I mean, I'm here now for three days. So this is my third day. I waited like for the third day because I was like, okay, before I give you a brief of the city, I should try to understand the city and get the vibe of the city. 
and it's absolutely amazing like all the cliches are true they're all true that uh, people are not easy uh, English sometimes is not easy but it's absolutely amazing and it's so little in terms of what the city is giving you know I mean I have to say every city has that London has that New York has that I mean then there's always of course something negative about a city so and I have to say the French people it's not they're just a bit hard to approach and you be a bit more you need to be a bit more consistent when it comes to French people it's not that I'm good at that and I have not experienced anything yet but that's like what I feel right now you need to be a bit more positive and you need to make the first step so that's not a problem but I mean I've been here just this first weekend and I got to know so many people working in fashion industry which was super delighting and enlightening in terms of fashion talks that I could have that I never could have in my hometown which I absolutely love with all my friends but here are all the people that share my passion and this is worth so much this is even worth packing your stuff and leaving so that's what I did um, I wanted to share this news with you because I think it will also change a bit of my content maybe I will be able to go to more places to show you more things directly but of course I will mainly still review things which is like my main passion uh, but also like maybe a bit more live things and I wanted to show you my little apartment a little bit because it's not huge but for Paris it's huge it's 45 square meters that's that's huge but as I said I cannot stay here for too long I will just show you like you start here it's the um, the hallway you know you start here here are my shoes like my favorite shoe I can show you the shoes also it's um, yeah my Balenciaga boots I think they're like five years old I wear no lie cost per wear is probably below one cent probably my very old Gucci slips um, Havaianas old TB fur flip-flops Balenciaga knife jeans boots and Balenciaga these uh, I got them in an outlet for hundred dollars so it was nice and of course my forever favorite but more sneakers I have a little kitchen space here so it's super cute and I like it when you don't have shelves up here it makes it much more modern so it's it's pretty cute the first thing you might have seen it I already ate my cheeseburger I'm sorry I was so hungry got my frosties a few apples and that's it I don't own much more then I have here also this I discovered here it's it's Schweppes um, it's pomegranate pamplemousse damn is it pomegranate no uh, okay uh, anyway so yeah and even the design is pretty nice they have like mirrors everywhere it's probably because they want to make it look bigger as well but i'm absolutely okay with that they can try to do that so yeah very french style paris style everything here surprise another mirror i mean for me it's great you know these tiktoks where people cannot stop watching themselves in the mirror even so though someone's breaking up with them that's me so yeah super cute i like this chair it looks a bit like the ghost chair and here is the main street i live and yeah you have some houseman buildings in the style and i'm not don't want to show you my bedroom <laughs> not yet but here my um here's my yeah hanger wardrobe with my most important uh things and my most loved good things i would say it's my Provenza blazer I love it. It's like very sculptured with very um, wide shoulders. I got this acne jacket. It's like a bomber boucle jacket. It's um, I just wore it once. It's insane. And that was yesterday evening as a little celebration. I have these two Zara blazers, which I still absolutely love. They're also like probably five years old. Thrifted from Berlin for two euros. Another very much loved blazer. Here I... What is this? Here I have a cost skirt in Margiela shorts, then a old Prada legging, which I actually don't wear that often. My favorite Loewe pants uh, from two years ago and Balenciaga shorts. Of course, obviously these are not the things I wear daily, but uh, I have to say I have a huge wardrobe of things that are pretty cool, <laughs> in my opinion, of course, and I want to wear them more frequently. So here I feel like I have finally the power and the energy to wear it because in 
Germany, I have to say, do you know the syndrome when you're like, people are not, oh God, this was mean, but people are not worth, you know, you have no occasion. Actually, the reason is you have no occasion and it's not the people. And then you're like, okay, it's not even worth getting my things out of, of my boxes and my good shoes out. And then you just wear the same over and over again. So yes, I just wanted to share this with you. I hope you um, enjoyed it, like my moving. No, of course not, but I want to share this door with you. It's so funny, I, know, I, I, love, I love the city. I guess this year, previously the normal door for the outside and this, this thing here was made later. And I was like, okay, what is this door? What is this door? And then you open it and then it's just like a cupboard where you have like glasses and stuff like, how great is that like this huge thing and this is how the mechanism works to like go up here and then you close it here like a door and you close it like a door i love it so much so yeah i think um the main question of this video is also since i'm now here what do you want to see exactly is there content would you like to me to go to museums to designers you know, there are a lot of showrooms I can visit. Uh, do, of, co of course, we'll still do my reviews, uh, as I always did. And that's my main passion, always. But in three weeks, it's Fashion Week, guys. So is, if there is anything you want, uh, please tell me. And if there are any people in Paris, hit me up. And let's have coffee and um, talk about fashion. Yeah, that's it for me. And you will hear more in next week, because now I have time. I have a bit more time and uh, we'll do a lot of videos. Bye! Bye! Is this, is this a good thumbnail? Is this a thumbnail? How, how do good thumbnails look like? How do you make them? How, how, how do you make a good thumbnail?